We have Hunter on line three. Are you with us? Uh, yes. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I was just wondering, uh, do you believe in evolutionary or evolution in the Big Bang Theory? Uh, well, first off, evolution and Big Bang Theory are sort of scientific subjects, so the belief doesn't really come into the thing. It's more, you know, what can be demonstrated through evidence and what have you. So uh, in terms of accepting evolution and Big Bang Theory as being where the evidence is pointing to us at this time, yeah, we accept those fields of science. Okay, so basically the, you believe that... Uh, Again, no, we don't believe anything that is scientifically I, related. I, I know, but you kind of get what I'm saying. But uh, basically what the Big Bang Theory states is that light bulbs, or light beams, sorry, not light bulbs, light beams uh, came, came out of this uh, big explosion and turned into protons, neutrons, and electrons, which later turned into an atom, and then turned into planets, and then turned into life. Is, is that what you believe? I think that what you ought to do is look up Big Bang Theory on the Internet. You can find a lot of sites, a lot of cosmological sites, a lot of sites having to do with astronomy and physics. That will go into pretty easy to explain detail as to what physicists will tell you the Big Bang Theory actually says. Um, the idea that to the universe, at some point, all of the matter in the universe was contained in either a singularity or some point, and that uh, either through a quantum event or what have you, this singularity became unstable, it expanded. Um, and remember, that all that the Big Bang Theory states is it, it, it discusses an expansion event. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not... The universe is continuously yeah. expanding. Yeah, and, and so, uh, so at that point, uh, you, but, but there are, we are not physicists. Yeah, okay. honestly, this has nothing to do with why I would believe or not believe in a god. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, well, let's go to, let's go to evolutionary. Uh, I think that the Cambrian explosion <laughs> completely blows uh, evolution, like, out of the water. That's because you don't understand the Cambrian, Cambrian explosion. The Cambrian explosion states that... Uh, that uh, life happened spontaneously. No, it didn't. No, it does not say anything about that. Well, well, over a, a few, I don't know, was it like one year or something like about that? About 80 to 100 million years is the period that uh, is referred to of the, as the Cambrian no, explosion. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure about that. What you need to do is go to actual science sources, websites and actual science yeah. books. Don't go to these creationist sources, okay? that are full of, and, I'm, and, I'll, and I'll be quite honest with you here, these are people in the creation sources who have a vested interest in lying to you about what science says. Because what they are doing is attempting to shore up a particular set of religious beliefs and a particular, shall we say, literalist, literalistic set of religious interpretation of Bible and scripture and trying to claim that that is scientifically supported. A great many Christians, and in fact some of the best scientists out there who are theists like Ken Miller, Francesco Alea, guys like that, will fully, you know, these are the guys out there who are doing the best refutations of some creationist claims, such as the claim against, uh, a claim about uh, irreducible complexity, or the Cambrian explosion, or what have you. They point out where these things are very deliberately being misrepresented by creationist sources. And so what I would suggest... I, I, I actually looked it up, like, uh, without, I just looked up Cambrian explosion, and it said it happened in a short period of time. And what is the source? Uh, what is the a, a very short period of time. Well, what is and what and what source was that? Think about the Cambrian explosion. No, no, no. Answer my question. What source was that that told you it was a short period of time, as in one year? What was that source? Uh, I'd have to go look it up. You want me to look? Take the time to look it up. No, I, no honestly, we, what? No, what you what you need to do is know where you're getting your information from. Yeah. You get something off of the internet. You say, "Oh, it says this." You don't even look to understand what the, you, well, you don't see what the source is. You don't remember well, what the source is. I, I could look up all that, but it, it would take up way too much paper. Well, I'm trying to. Well, I'm the, trying to save the trees. The, no, the point is, you need to know where you're getting your information from, and then you need to be able to understand if that is an actual reliable source or not. Well, the other question is, have you presented what, a biologist with this, and what was the what was the response you were given? Do you, have you asked somebody who's an evolutionary biologist what they make of this, yeah, and just what did they respond? At a university or something. Uh, yes, uh, my teacher actually said that it. You're it wait, 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 wait. What, there, what? The thing about the Cambrian explosion is that uh, single-celled organism 
turned into uh, uh, spineless organisms, and there is nothing in between. There it doesn't no say that either. Of anything in between. It doesn't say that either. Everything and that you also, think you know about the Cambrian evolution. explosion is wrong. There's no fossils. They searched in Japan for a Hunter, long time, Hunter, and they found no Hunter. fossils. Hunter, hold, there's a hold button. Hunter, I'm going to cut you off here in a minute. You are getting incorrect information. You are stating things about the Cambrian explosion that are demonstrably I, I, false. No, know, and what I I'm know, telling you to do... On many sites. No, you, you don't even know what these sites are. First it was one, now yeah, you're saying well, there are many. I think you're sitting there lying to me, Hunter. I don't think you've studied I'm any of this at all. I don't okay, think you've well, studied well, this me, stuff at all. If, you've you studied this, if you have studied this stuff at all, then... What you need to do if you want to be honest about this pursuit, if you really want to understand what evolution says, instead of just finding reasons to reject it by looking at creationist sources that are spreading falsehoods, you will look at all these different sources. But you can't even name your sources. You're simply telling us, I saw this online. Well, who wrote what you saw online? Who told you that there is no fossil record? Who told you that there is no line of, of lineage that we can trace? Who told you that this all happened in one year? Was this person an actual biologist, an actual paleontologist? And do you believe that yeah. evolutionary biologists have issued no response to any of your concerns? Yes. You know, and, and your, your high school teacher yeah. is not the person you need to be asking. You need to be writing to somebody who can answer mm -hmm. this, who has an upper level degree in this field, um, it's preferably somebody who's teaching at the university level in biology. Mm -hmm. um, so do you, do you understand what we're saying to you, Hunter? Do you understand what we're saying to you? Is he still there? Of course, when there's so many sites... See, you haven't even, you know, you're just trying to talk over us with your creationist bilge, and you're not really interested in understanding this stuff. So frankly, we're tired of you. So who else do we have now? Brian and... Oh, Brian and Pennsylvania. Brian, you on? Hello. How are you doing? Thank you for waiting. I think you've been waiting a long time, and we're very sorry. This isn't Brian. This isn't Brian? No, this is Matt. Matt? Number two. Then. Oh, I hit two. Oh. I thought I hit one. That's all right, because the longer you keep me on hold, the more crap I want to say. Oh. Yeah. You sound sick as a dog, dude. Man, you I really weren't sick. lying, were you? The content of this video is produced by the Atheist Community of Boston, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism and the separation of church and state. If you enjoyed this content and are willing and able to provide a donation, please visit the website below.